Chikmagalur, a biodiversity rich district of Karnataka comprises of Malenadu, semi Malenadu, and plain regions. The district has eight taluks, 34 hoglas, and 226 gram panchayats. The population is 11 lakhs 37,961 as per 2011 census, with a density of 158 per square kilometer. The district has a total of 1,446 schools. Zilla Panchayat and Education Department in Chikmangalur have come up with a unique program titled Samagra. Samagra, a comprehensive approach towards quality education in rural areas of Chikmangalur. The district has adopted innovative and comprehensive approach to ensure quality education in government schools. The aims and objectives of the comprehensive approach are ensure quality education and enhance learning capabilities, ensure quality infrastructure in all schools. To ensure quality education and enhance learning capabilities, the departments of rural development and education have brought out a practical workbook titled Anubhavatma Ka Khalike. Ten different activities have been identified to be included in experiential learning. Some of them are Love Thy Books, Learning Through New Technology, Learning Beyond My School, My School is Eco-Friendly, Practical Learning at Laboratory, Shama Dhan to My School. These activities aim to bridge the gap between textual learning in classrooms and the practical world. More than 20,000 field activities have been carried out as part experiential learning. These activities include banking in school, post office visit, gram panchayat visit, election in school, etc. The initiative of Smart Class has helped children to get acquainted to and learn through digital technology. They are linked to images, graphs, visuals, and animated films that highly complement the textual curriculum. The smart classes are mandatory. They are utilized by students of all grades on stipulated time slots in the school. Libraries in the district are being upgraded into digital libraries with the provisioning of computers, smartphones, internet connectivity, and access to state digital libraries. All the library buildings are face-lifted with attractive painting themes. These libraries not only help school children but attract rural youth too. More than 50,000 school children are already enrolled in the Gram Panchayat digital libraries. Besides imparting quality education, providing facilities for health and hygiene of school children is essential. Toilets in 436 schools among the 1,446 schools needed repair and new construction. Recognizing this need, clean and user-friendly toilets, separate for boys and girls, have been constructed. A compound around the school ensures security and safety to school children. It can also keep the school premises free from encroachment. 1,140 schools out of the total 1,446 in the district have compounds. Construction of compounds in the remaining 306 schools is under progress. An integral part of overall education is to provide facilities for several sports activities to the rural students. At the same time, it is extremely important to introduce sports that are new and unfamiliar to them. This not only facilitates for their physical development and nurtures leadership qualities, but also encourages them to try out new and untried and widen their world. While we are aiming at that, 465 all-weather synthetic courts, mud courts and athletic tracks are being constructed for athletics and to play badminton, volleyball, basketball, kabaddi, koko and others. With these initiatives, we are beginning to reap the benefits through children such as Their attendance has increased, the dropout rates have reduced, their reading practices have enhanced, they are happy with their learnings beyond their classrooms, the teachers are comfortably reaching the learning goals of their students. All these above works and initiatives are being carried out under various union government schemes like Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Scheme, Jal Jeevan Mission, 15th FC Grants, SFC, SDP, RIDF, and schemes promoted by Government of Karnataka such as Viveka Yojana, Amrita Shale, Flood Relief Grants, and others, and also CSR funds.